If recent events have shown us anything, climate change is real and we are not ready for it. The signs have been there for a while. Between 2000 and 2016, more than half of power outages were caused by weather events. And a 2017 report by the American Society of Civil Engineers said that Americans will likely experience longer and more frequent power interruptions as a result of climate change. This is something that is uh, likely to get even worse. And we're going to have to decide what we want to do to be prepared. Dr. Don Russell is a professor of electric power engineering at Texas A&M. We can make the grid smarter. We can put in more monitoring and we can harden some facilities. All of which will be expensive. Uh, there has to be a public policy decision to spend the kind of money that would be necessary to meet all of the anticipatable events. But it is possible. If you can put a wind turbine out in the North Sea, uh, just short of the Baltic, and have it work all year long, I guarantee you we can do it in West Texas. Diversifying our energy generators will be essential to surviving the next weather event. Dr. Russell says that while renewables are great, they're not consistent and that moving forward may mean relying on an unpopular alternative. We need more nuclear. It's clean, it's almost always there. With, with some work, it could be rarely affected by these events. Making these changes won't take years. We could get some of them done before next winter. And you spend enough money, you can do things real quick. Dr. Russell says most of the time, these preps won't be needed, and it may feel like we're throwing away money. But the next time an extreme storm is in the forecast, we won't regret it. We are vulnerable to the loss of electricity, and we do not have the skill sets, generally speaking, to survive very long without electricity.